What's going on YouTube? GeoSnowday here. So in today's video we have a new update for the Electra Jailbreak for iOS 11.0 up to the iOS 11.1.2 and we also have some news on the CDI situation created by Coolstar. So um, let's start with the update for the Electra. Unfortunately this new beta doesn't contain CDI for the moment and I'm going to explain why in the next couple of seconds but first let's see what it contains then. So um, it's been released just a couple of minutes ago by Coolstar and he announced it on his Twitter and it says in here beta 11 it adds uh, lib jailbreak so command line tools apps etc can talk to the uh, jailbreak daemon if needed it uses XPC instead of UDP from uh, lib jailbreak and XPC proxy and then uses TCP instead of UDP from launch daemon uh, which is of course um, a contribution of Coolstar and triangle dev now these are small changes in my opinion but they are very important since as I said they do contribute to making the Electra a very stable jailbreak in fact I think we really need to um, acknowledge the fact that Coolstar did a very very impressive job on making Electra a real and stable jailbreak for the iOS 11 and I really think that we should assign the term jailbreaking for iOS 11 with Coolstar on this uh, particular uh, range, iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2 because he had created the most stable iOS 11 jailbreak to this point. And um, there have been quite a lot of attempts to create a jailbreak for iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2, including Topanga, Liber iOS, created by Jonathan Levin, uh, which, uh, yeah, uh, Liber iOS was also great and is also great, but um, Electra is really, really outstanding. Now, for those of you who are using it, you should go ahead and update to the beta 11. Each individual update from this point on will pretty much lay the foundation for Cydia to come and to work properly. You cannot pretty much um, expect to have Cydia on an older version if you do not update to the newest all the time. So yes, this is a drawback of using a beta jailbreak. You have to keep on updating it to the newest version every time in order to get the new features. It's not automatically updating like a normal iOS application does from the App Store. but um, yeah, it's a good idea to keep yourself up to date. Now, speaking about Cydia, because I know that a lot of you are interested in Cydia and the current situation. I announced yesterday in the video I made yesterday that Coolstar is pretty much ready with Cydia, and he is. But he delays it a little bit for testing purposes, which is indeed very important because we do not want a jailbreak that will install a Cydia that doesn't work or that will install a Cydia that works, but once you try to install something, you will get weird bugs. We want a Cydia that actually works and that actually feels like Cydia properly uh, doing its stuff. So in order for that to happen, Coolstar takes his time in order to pretty much get some testing done for each individual component. He posted this on Twitter just a couple hours ago, quote, for those asking for the ATA of Cydia, we can't simply just release it with Cydia right now. For a sane development process, it only makes sense to run unit tests on each component and then gradually field test adding components rather than adding it all at once." End quote. So yes, this makes a lot of sense. And I'm definitely aware of the fact that many of you are waiting to get Cydia finally on your device, but as I said, testing it properly and making a working Cydia is much more important than releasing it in a hurry and uh, you know, rushing the entire release and rushing the development in order to create bugs, of course. And you can't ignore the fact that software most likely has bugs and CDI is no exception. So if Coolstar finds the bug and tests the CDI and of course decides that there is a bug in there, he can fix it, release the uh, you know working version and everything is all right. But if he rushes the release and pushes a CDI that is buggy, that means a user will have to deal with the bug and it can become dangerous even to the point where the device can get broken. So it's a good idea to be very careful on what you're releasing and I really appreciate the fact that Coolstar is taking his time in order to make this thing work properly. So yes, for those of you waiting for Cydia to come to Electra, just wait a little bit more so that Coolstar can do his testing and uh, once he is sure that everything works fine on any device and all the components are working fine, 
of course you will get CDR running. So for the moment go ahead and update to the beta 11 for the uh, Electra and tell me in the comment section down below which version of iOS are you currently using and why. So that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow, signing out.